Jeff Extension, how's he coming along? Uh, very, very happy with him. Um, settled in good. You know, he is a real relaxed type of horse. Doesn't much phase him at home, but you never know. They're going to travel and very happy to ridden him the last couple of mornings and he's gone around not, not putting a foot wrong, you know. John, obviously, it was keen to get him in the World Cup. That didn't happen. Um, is he ready for this race now? Yeah, yeah. I, th I think, you know, um, he feels very comfortable on the surface and it uh, would have been interesting had he got in the World Cup, but um, it wasn't to be and the, the, the duty free looks very competitive, very tough, but I do believe that the three Hong Kong horses are, are proper group one world-class horses and, um, yeah, he's, he's always uh, been in the money. He's a real consistent horse. Ambitious Dragons had the better of him in Hong Kong. Uh, we hope he can turn it around, you know, you know, going the other way around. There's a few changes. You never know who's going to adapt to it better. But he's, he's really settled in good, and that's all you can ask from him. Well, you need to put him in the race and uh, make sure he's, uh, he's right sort of there at the, at the top of the straight in this. I would think so. You know, he, he, he is inclined to, um, in some of his races, if he, if he is caught amongst horses in a pack and, and that pace isn't, hasn't been genuine enough, he, he can find himself in trouble, caught a little flat-footed and he's been bit unlucky in a couple of runs because of this. So uh, we do find if the pace isn't on, he's better off being out of the ruck, being a, just in front of it all and try and kicking off it, kicking off that, you know, and he seems to run his best races like this.